Punky's fashion, Punky's music, Punky's the inner feeling and feeling good. I suppose I really started dressing how I like to dress, probably at about the age of 14. Yeah, in about 1978, I probably went to one of my first gigs and it was the UK subs, Adam and the Ants, and a little known band called The Specials. It was just seeing all these different people, different coloured hair, different clothes, and it was, wow. Clothes and music to me are linked and they're so close knit. What's that one with the spikes, Dad? A bit embarrassed about this, really. It's one of my old, uh, <laughs> one of my old punk ones with bondage straps and whatever. I haven't worn that. I haven't worn that for a few years. Everyone can say that they're fearless and they go out and they wear this and this and this, but I think you've got to be able to pull it off as well. <laughs> Remember, we were on the train once, and he was wearing his um, brothel creepers with furry leopard print on the top, and they're like stacked. And this man was standing there staring at them and then when he got off he like shook Dad's hand and was like, Oh mate, they're really cool but I wouldn't be able to wear them. Let's fit Michael Jackson down. Oh, oh that's nice stand. Michael, Michael Jackson. We've all got quite similar style in what we wear because Dad wears it and it's we've just been brought up with it. Look at that, mate. <laughs> look, look at that, I could work in a bank. You could. <laughs> I've always liked not dressing up, but I say making an effort and looking good. Yeah. What would be quite nice to do is mix a few of your yeah, yeah. bits in with other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, meeting the other fearless icons is quite unique, really, because you could really describe them as punks as well, because they are just doing what they want to do. To me, what they were doing was punk, as you know, as I have done throughout my life. <laughs>